Selecting the right sealant for your splashback is pertinent or important prior to installation. And here we've got the low modulus 200 acetoxy silicone sealant, as well as the OB1 multi surface construction sealant and adhesive clear. So the low modulus 200 silicone sealant acetoxy comes in the translucent form, whereas the OB1 multi surface sealant comes in the clear form and it's odorless, it says. So based off of that information, I would presume that the OB1 is a neutral cure. Low modulus glazing sealants can be used to provide strong adhesion to glass and they cure to provide a clear finish. They can be used to seal around glass edges in windows and doors and also embedding in glazing panels. And they can also be used to transfer the structural load from glass to the support system surrounding it. The OB1 doesn't say if it's a high modulus or low modulus, but it does say that it's an odorless um, sealant, which connotes neutral cure. So I would be more inclined to use the OB1 as opposed to using the, the low modulus 200. As a neutral curing sealant does not create an acidic environment, unlike the acetoxy which does. The neutral cure releases alcohol when drying rather than relying on highly corrosive substances such as the acetic acid found in the acetoxy. The pro of the acetoxy is that it dries faster than the um, neutral cure. But the con of the acetoxy is that it could etch your glass. It can discolor natural stone, can cause bitumen to bleed. Bituminous materials such as roofing materials, copper tiles, paint and waterproof materials can also damage certain metals such as brass and copper. The odour of the acetoxy is not pleasant and lastly keep your electronics away from acetoxy while it's curing as the resulting vapour could cause you know, potential damage. And although the Everflex 200 is low modulus, I will not be using it purely because it's acetoxy. I do not want to use that on my glass, okay? Or me splashback. So select the right sealant bespoke to the job you're doing or bespoke to your requirements, okay? In this case, for the splashback, the trade-off is between the acetoxy and the neutral cure. And if it's high modulus or low modulus, okay? So I will be using the Everflex 450. It's low modulus, it's neutral cure. It's exactly what I need for, for the job, okay? As it's not corrosive, wouldn't etch on the glass, and it's odorless. So I'd be using the Everflex 450. I'd be inserting that into um, my sealant gun. If you wanna you know, see how to um, Use your sealant gun, how to reseal your bath, the wash basin, you know, select, you know, your right silicone sealant. Um, utilize the stop finder and the metal stop finder to um, identify pipes and cables in your wall and metal pipes as well. Click on the link in the video description, okay? But basically, to get the L-shaped piston in your sealant gun moving, you know, click on that lever that's right before the trigger on the outside. And that should get the piston moving along its line of travel, okay? That's the trigger that I'm squeezing on there. But click that little lever, that metal silverish lever, okay? Click on that, and that allows movement to the, the round ring at the base of the piston traction when you push it with the cartridge. And you can also push the piston westward or anticlockwise when you click on the lever, okay? Then when you insert your cartridge, which is the Everflex 450, you can, you can push on the um, L-shaped piston, you know, eastwards, you know, to close out the cartridge within the chamber of the sealant gun. You know, make sure you cut the nozzle of your sealant and cut the head of the sealant so that you can get sealant out of the tube, okay, straight through the nozzle and out of the nozzle hole or the aperture. And to undo the nozzle, just get yourself like a standing knife, okay? And so cut the um, tube head here and also cut the, um, the nozzle head. And also take care that you do not cut yourself, okay? Make sure you leave some room so that you could screw the nozzle back on, okay? Once done, insert the cartridge into the chamber of the sealant gun. Press the lever so that the piston can latch onto 
um, the hydraulics or the suction of the cartridge, which, which is embedded, you know, in the cartridge itself. Then cover the nozzle with the nozzle lid to prevent, you know, the um, sealant from curing, okay, or to prevent air from getting into the um, sealant. And now that we've worked out that the OB1 and the 450 are both neutral cure, um, let's see what the 450, which is translucent, looks like, and the OB1, which is clear, looks like. Let's see what type of sealants look like, okay? The sealant is going to be at the back of the um, splashback anyway. So we're going to run, you know, two beads of sealant. You know, the first with the OB1, which is clear, and let's see what it looks like. And then we run the 450 translucent bead alongside, you know, the clear um, OB1 bead and see what it looks like too as well. And what you can tell from them two beads is that, you know, although one's clear and one's translucent, they're not see-through. They've got this cloudy-like um, look to it. You can't see through them. And I think this is the best that you're going to get, okay? It can't be, can be any more clearer than, than what it is, okay? Um, that's about it, really. If you found the information useful, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Does help the channel grow. And hopefully catch up with you later. Goodbye.